All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. It's me, Addy, again, and I hope you guys are doing all right. So these past couple of days have been kind of insane when it comes to reveals and trailers and presentations and whatnot for the games I'm really excited for this year. Uh, like I said in my Starfield reaction video that I made a couple weeks ago, 2023 is looking to be pretty stacked uh, with games like Final Fantasy 16, which I just reacted to yesterday. Uh, there was that crazy one hour long demo. Uh, which I reacted to 27 minutes of, uh, which was just the condensed gameplay from that thing. And thank you, by the way, to everyone who watched that and commented on it. I really appreciate it. I was really looking forward to making another reaction video to check out the full hour-long presentation by Yoshi P for that thing. And people in the comments of the last video also wanted me to, so definitely stay on the lookout for that. It's coming. But right now, something crazy just happened around 10 hours ago out of the blue for me, and it's the fact that we just got 10 minutes of short but sweet gameplay of the upcoming Zelda Tears of the Kingdom by Nintendo, and that is yet another game that I am really looking forward to in this absolutely stacked year for games. If you know me, you'll know that I love Zelda. I absolutely adore the series. I've actually got a poster back there of Ocarina of Time. It's Link and Epona. So yeah, man, games like Oracle of Seasons, Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, and uh, more recently Breath of the Wild, of course, are all games that I hold very near and dear. Like, hell, I named my own dog Link. <laughs> so of course, I am beyond excited for Tears of the Kingdom. I have been waiting for this for a very long time, and I couldn't be more excited to sit down here today before we continue with our FF16 reactions to make yet another reaction video in the midst of all this to the 10 minutes of gameplay that have been unveiled here by Nintendo. I could not be more excited. Let's check this out. So of course, just like FF16 had the legendary Yoshi P talking us through what we can expect, we've got the series producer behind Zelda, IG Onuma from Nintendo, uh, showing us some brand new gameplay here today. Let's check this out, you guys. I'm really happy this is here. I cannot be more excited, like I said, to watch this. Here we go. All right, baby. Hello, everyone. Oh, and the music, right. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Forgot the main theme of Tears of the Kingdom. It sounds so good. First, I have some news. Mm -hmm. Development on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Oh, let's go. The game's Thank finished. You very much for waiting. They're about to go gold very soon. Many of you are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Indeed, and we reacted to those. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and let's show go. you what it's like. Please do. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, man. And we saw little snippets of gameplay from the here last we are trailer. In the land of Hyrule. But now we get an actual demo. Okay, here's Hyrule. Like the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Oh my God. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. Nice. I didn't really want to see how. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time. So we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. Of course, man. I'm gonna pour hundreds of hours into this on stream, just like in I did with the game, original. The vast world of Hyrule. Or the first one reaches high into the sky. Oh my god, yeah, You'll of course you can go some above the clouds. Is floating up there. We call them sky islands. Nice. I look at Link's hair, man, it's different. It's all like flowy. It's You're just flowing in the wind. Something. How do you get to the sky islands when they're so high up? Yeah, dude, I've been I've been itching to see that. That's the number one if thing I actually want to see. Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? That's cool. They keep the same is. village music. Let's head over to it. So it's a sequel, but they retain a lot of the DNA in terms of the sound design and everything from the, the last one. The object fell. It is like the same Here exact game, just morph it. I love it. That's, okay. that's like exactly Let's what I wanted. One of Link's new abilities. And new features and stuff. Here we go. Do this on the rock that just fell. Rewind. Oh, that's sick. Look, it started rising. That makes sense. I, I love the abilities from Breath of the Wild. Which rewinds an object's movement. Recall, okay. Since I just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. That's so cool. We're a lot closer to the sky islands. So now we Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. Now we can't just freeze things. You also get to rewind time there on them. That's fucking sky awesome. Islands floating here too. And they kind of hinted with that with the, the scary demonic theme it. of the game with how it sounds all reversed and everything. There are lots of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we oh, hope you'll try a few different methods. You can see the dragons and stuff okay. from the first game flying now around too. slightly bigger Sky Island. It's so pretty. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. So nice and colorful. You I love the cell shading. Those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. 
It's the same exact interface and everything. It's basically Breath of the Wild, just more of it with new mechanics, new gameplay, There's new areas. I'm all for it. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Yep, <laughs> the tree branch, okay. Oh, something's there. Kind of a useless this item a in the original. This is enemy called oh. a construct. We'll right. fight it using the branch we just picked The up. robots. <laughs> the Guardian-esque robots. Ah, the branch broke. No! Not good. Not good. Oh, no, Quick. weapons can still Get break. Branch and... Oh, I don't know how I feel about we that. It. I was hoping to get rid of durability in this one, but maybe, like, Moving it's on. a little bit more bearable. Hopefully, they kind of touch it up a bit, at We've least. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. <laughs> so here's another one of Link's new abilities. Link has a straight up mullet. I love it. Branch and the rock over here, and do this. Look, huh? we can stick them together. Wait, we wait, that's sick. New abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this. Look, we can stick them together. <laughs> that's we awesome. We created a makeshift hammer. Oh my this god. This is called fuse. What the you fuck? You can stick objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Dude, that's Let's fucking take amazing. On construct with this fused weapon. So you can fuse like any two things together We're to create for like bigger and be better weapons. That's insane. You can like can you fuse anything in this oh, game then? Any two objects, the weapon? The weapon's attack has definitely improved. The possibilities. Holy shit. The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. Nice. Okay, they did you address that at least. You can do by experimenting with the fuse ability. So they may, you, you can actually you can increase durability weapons, for example. by fusing if things. That's amazing. Long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork. <laughs> we can create a weapon with a much longer attack. That's region. so cool. Oh my god. With this, we don't have to get too close to enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. Holy shit, this looks so sick. You can also fuse you can have a field day with materials this. in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. What? <laughs> fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow and... I just got like 50 times more excited for this enemies. game, you guys. Holy fuck. Very useful. Holy in shit. Addition, hmm. You can fuse see. motherfucking anything in this. Ah, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. Okay. So, at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. You're right, the key's the eyeball. An and. So you can fuse that with arrows now. Oh Look, my god, it's it so cool. On the target. Yeah, it hones in on them. Let's so, try this on another So bird. every single resource you could pick up from enemies in the original game now have a greater I'll just purpose fire here. In that general direction. That's very simple. <laughs> That's amazing. So you, depending on what you stick together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. It's like the sickest expansion to the first game, but I've it's like a sequel and an expansion at the same time. Now, you're probably it's awesome. wondering if this has any use. Uh -huh. Well, this mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Puff shroom. Let's fight an enemy with this. Right, that's a new item. I blocked Ooh. with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. That's sick. The enemies lost sight of Link, so <laughs> attack. No way. So you can like you have like Even smoke bombs essentially combat, now. You can take down enemies using similar methods. In the previous game, you'd usually get powerful weapons by defeating strong enemies. Yeah. But in this game, fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could oh turn it my. into a useful weapon. Oh, there are that's even sick. more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. Oh, we'll that's beautiful. This one, but swimming across it, well, the river's too wide for that. We need a boat. Of course, right. there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. Yeah, and the original was so, like a, a log boat, and we'll you need the, the coral leaf. It to a second log. So you can build, right? Let's you can build vehicles. I remember we'll that from the trailer we saw last time. And attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. <laughs> That's so this cool. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Yeah, the new abilities Even are sick. Even though the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Whoa. Let's modify the shape of the raft. 
new mechanics are sick. Things or detach them like this. There's so much versatility. You can build your own thing. It's now, all about building and fusing, water, right? That's the theme of the gameplay it's made here. Of wood, so the buoyancy will keep it afloat. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, that... it won't move in its current state, so we'll need something to propel it forward. Right. You need the leaf again? Hmm. There's mm, something indeed. here. Let's try hitting it. Nani? Oh, wind. It's blowing wind. That's cool. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching <laughs> Fans are now out in the open world. They're like adding more little like trinkets from the Guardian technology out here. Oh my god, and you can attach it as a we'll propeller? Attach another one. Whoa. This should make the boat well balanced. Dude, that's sick. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try moving the boat. Hey, it's moving. <laughs> That's so it's awesome, pretty man. Fast with the wind from the fans. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross the river in no time. The heck is All that right, thing? We reached the other side. In the most recent yep, trailer, yep, yep. we showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. So you're building Those them, yep. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. There are all sorts so of cool. objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. That is so, so revolutionary, man. And explore this world that, this is leisure. so revolutionary for open world traversal, right? That's what I've always loved about Zelda games. They always try to, like, Take this building push over boundaries. Here. Okay, watch this. It's all about using your imagination to craft things in order to traverse through the game. Look, I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through. Mm -hmm. That looks sick. To the floor above you. They kind of like some restrictions, pull it through but it. What's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. That's so cool, man. For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. Oh my god, so you can go through the, the entirety here, of the cave? Holy shit, so no longer do you have to like go through all this arduous climbing to get to places. Whoa, Keep that's going. so fucking beautiful. Okay, we emerged at the top of the hill. In the previous game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. Exactly. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Now I do. Oh, there's another construct. It seems to be holding a strange <laughs> I'm loving weapon. this so far, you guys. This shit is blowing Some me away. are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Oh, so they have fused weapons too? That's kind of cute. Ah, it blew <laughs> me away with wind. Looks like it's got some sort of fan. It does. Ah! I got pushed off! <laughs> oh my god, we're going back down to Earth! Oh well, let's just return to the surface. You can quickly descend from <laughs> the sky so to the sick. surface like this. I love how they just casually so brag good. about that. Hey, you know, just in the sky, you're knocked you'll off. be able to look out across the land. You're still playing and you're still gliding back down there. This is incredible. That pique your interest. Once you've chosen your destination, you can speed things up like this. Oh my god. Let's you can like skydive in this shit. What the hell? There are no loading screens between, and like, the sky the and the ground. I was wondering if that was going to be a thing. It isn't. Everything is still so many things happening like in real time. You, but let's leave it at that for now. Oh, what's that enemy? Like, his little wyvern carrying a creature? A book goblin, I think. What did you think? I loved it. Some ten minutes, and I'm blown away. I've seen some revolutionary game. shit. In I'm ten sure minutes. Some of you watching me play were this magic. <laughs> Wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this, too. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even Clearly. possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. Oh, I'll use my imagination, all, all right. Thank you for watching. Oh my god, no, no, thank you for making this game the way it is so far. I cannot wait.
like I said, I just became 50 more, 50 times more excited for this thing because before we kind of had details on what it would be like, but now we have concrete information and footage about how everything plays out. So now I can't wait for me to get here. Damn it! Why is 2023 so cool? Wait, what's this? Oh, no way! They're making a Tears of the Kingdom themed Switch? Probably the OLED model, right? Oh, that looks good. That looks good. <laughs> you know what I love about this, you guys, is the fact that despite how they haven't made a new console yet, right? Despite the fact that we're still on the Switch, which isn't like the most cutting edge technology in this day and age anymore. Um, they're, they're still managing to make a sequel that is incredibly fun. They're putting fun before technical ambition here. Um, which I think is commendable, man. I think it's really, really, it speaks volumes about the kind of developers that they are working on this. I, oh my god, I could not be more excited, you guys. And like I said, man, one of the things that I absolutely love about each and every one of the Zelda games that I've played through personally so far is the fact that they all try something ambitious that I've never seen before that completely wows me and changes my perspective towards video games in general, right? Like with Tears of the Kingdom, it's all about using your imagination to combine pretty much anything you can see out in the open world and create all these amazing new inventions to make your adventures all the more fun and engaging. And that is such an amazing approach to open world game design because it keeps the game from getting too stale and boring. A big problem that a lot of open world games have is that they have a lot of large empty open areas where you can't really do a whole lot, but I can totally foresee this game having so many little things you can collect out in the open world, even in these large seemingly empty areas to then combine them and create these really cool adventures to have so much fun traveling through it and then exploring all the various divine beasts or dungeons or whatever they're going to be or the main story things or the villages and to assist you in even fighting the enemies and stuff. And also, of course, the fact that we now are able to traverse the skies and land. They're pretty much already fixing that issue of there being large, very open, barren areas that Breath of the Wild sort of had. So now not only do you have cool new ways to traverse all these areas, but you also have more meaningful areas in general, it seems. And I'm so happy about that, and that just makes me really excited. And what's really cool is now when you look back at Breath of the Wild, it all sort of makes sense in hindsight that this is the direction they were going to go. Because the early foundations for being able to use all these really cool abilities like Magnesis, Stasis, etc. in order to kind of combine things, which wasn't really a mechanic, but players could come up with their own makeshift things, to travel through the world in a really cool way like sometimes you could stasis these steel plates and then whack them a couple times and get on them and then go really far shit like that the fact that you could do stuff like that in breath of the wild makes it really clear that they were going to go ham on that kind of stuff in the sequel and really make that the gimmick and the appeal of this game. And another thing is the fact that I love how they don't try to completely reinvent the wheel that was the entirety of the original game and change up everything just for the sake of being different as a sequel. Instead, they stick to their roots, keep all the things that made the original great, like there didn't seem to be too many major differences in the game as a whole. You've got the same UI, you've got the same kind of music, the same kind of villages, everything looks to be the same overall, but then they add new things on top of that experience that we already know and love. And to also fix things that were kind of problematic about the original game, like the weapon durability that I was talking about. I always thought that was really cumbersome in an otherwise brilliant game. And here, instead of completely getting rid of it, they make it so that you can extend the durability of your weapons through the coolest mechanic that they introduced, which is fusion, which, oh my god, is blowing my mind just talking about it right now. I can't believe that I didn't see this coming. I can't believe that that's what they're focusing on with this game. And um, I just can't believe you saw it all in 10 minutes, and I'm really excited. So hell yeah, man. I'd also love to know what you guys think, by the way. Are you really excited for this? I know I am, like I said. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I think that Tears of the Kingdom is going to be a blast. And now, like I said, I could sort of have waited for May when I didn't really know all the deets on this game. But now I cannot wait for May to get here ASAP. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this reaction, you're new here, and you just want to see more videos like this one down the line, as well as reviews and Let's Plays, then be sure to like and subscribe. I'm making those all the time. And of course, it really helps out the channel. And until the next one, guys, which should be my hour-long reaction to Yoshi P's coverage of Final Fantasy 16 the other day at PAX East, Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, keep on keeping on. Goddamn excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go. This is going to be amazing.